I finally managed to fill another sketchbook. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to flip through this thing and see what I've been drawing for the last year and a half. Let's look at the outside. Let's look at this sketchbook from an outside perspective. This is a handmade sketchbook that I made using materials out of Jazza's art box, one of the boxes he released a year or two ago. And these are some of his coloring pages that I colored and then sprayed onto a piece of cardboard, a really thick board here and here and just wove it all in. And the paper on the inside is actually the alcohol paper that came with the box. The big theme of this is these alcohol-based markers. These bad boys right here is predominantly what I used for the coloring of the pieces, just because that's, I don't know, I wanted to have a theme, so this is the theme. Let's dive into this bad boy and see what's inside. I don't know if I'll sit here and talk about every single piece, but again, the big theme of this was the character study, because, I don't know, I want to design characters and I don't really know how, so I'm going to study character design before I get into it. So here we go. First off the bat, just the first page, I just, I just got, I didn't even finish this piece, so it is what it is. It never got past the frustrating sketchings phase. But, I mean, that's part of it. It's a sketchbook. Moving on. I don't know how to sketch girls very well. I, I just can't. So it just, I don't know. It, it, I don't like the face of this one. I like the clouds. I like, obviously, the key blades. But the girl itself, it could use some work, I suppose. Not very good at drawing girls, but that's okay. Yes, doing with alcohol-based markers, a lot of the pages, like, it bled through. So I wasn't able to draw on both sides of the page. So to kind of accommodate, I took some old sketches from my old journal, my old uh, sketchbook, and just kind of glued them in there. So just to kind of fill the space, make it seem like it's more full. This was a anime that I... Was, it was recommended that I watch, and I got, honestly, like halfway through it, and then I just got a little, a little weird. It was weird, but it's good. It's fine. <laughs> the little character is fun to draw. Let's see. Attack on Titan, obviously, yes. The Jaw Titan. Love Attack on Titan. Love it. Also love Zelda, if you can't tell. If you can't tell. Lots of Zelda. The game comes out here pretty soon. So actually, right now, I'm drawing Zelda, something Zelda themed every single day until the game comes out, which is, which is pretty cool. Love Evangelion. I absolutely love Evangelion. And all the EV units in the show. Just love it, man. I, I've watched it twice. I'll probably watch it a third time here pretty soon. So. The EV unit 01. Yes, yes, and zero two, right? And I did uh, some, I kind of experimented with the other side of the paper with this uh, Posca pen, this big old fat pen, uh, and drew on, just drew it, and then drew, you know, wrote on, just took notes or whatever. But if, I don't know, it just transferred, this black here transferred over to my drawing, and I really didn't like that, so I stopped. I stopped doing this eventually, but you can see the little notes that I took and how long ago I started this, so. Again, some older things. When I first got my little first pack of uh, um, alcohol-based markers, this is kind of what I did. Some more Eva stuff just to kind of keep with the theme. That's a, a big thing I had was like, I want to be consistent with the drawings, with the, the things that I draw. So I draw several like things back to back. So, so that's right around the time Obi-Wan Kenobi came out. So we started, I drew this. Actually, this um, 
turned into a series of paintings, this one and two more drawings you'll see later. But these turned into a series of paintings that I did um, that are actually on my YouTube video, on the YouTube channel. Some older sketches again, just cutting them out, just little on smaller pieces of paper, cutting them out to fill up the, the back there, that over, yeah, the spillage. <laughs> Seto Kaiba. Oh, fun fact. I met the English dubbed voice actor for Seto Kaiba not long ago, and I got his signature on a piece of my art. Actually, I'm going to show you that because that's cool. See? Look. Isn't that neat? And I've got another one. i got another side ready for, for Yugi. Just my doodle style, right? So... Back when I was doodling a lot, I would doodle and uh, would come up with some pretty cool characters. Uh, I haven't doodled much like this at all in the last year and a half, probably just like not much at all. I've phased out of it almost completely. And now I'm doing more of stuff like this. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the series of paintings, the drawings that turned into paintings, this one, this one, and the Vader all turned into a little trilogy that was fun, a lot of fun to paint. Probably some of my, still some of my favorite paintings. And then there's this guy, so uh, the creator of Yugi, Yu-Gi-Oh! actually passed away this last year, and to kind of pay homage to him, I drew this guy. So, yeah. And again, some... Uh, I was I'm intrigued by the Rasengan and the, the the just whatever. So I actually drew all the characters that know how to draw or know how to do the Rasengan in Naruto. So we have Kakashi, and then we have Pervy Sage, and then Konohamaru, and then Big Daddy himself, Minato, the creator of the of the thing. And then let's not forget. Naruto. Obviously, Boruto can do it too, but we're not. I didn't count Boruto. Just the characters in Naruto. So, there we go. And some Pokemon. Just a little tri trio. Some more Pokemon. Entei, my favorite dog. Legendary dog. This was actually a commission from my friend Hannah. So, I wanted to preserve it. This is a little plushie that she did for me. It's super awesome, and I'll put her Instagram on the screen right here, just uh, if you want to commission, want her to commission something for you. This is really cool, but I wanted to draw it. I wanted to kind of preserve it in my sketchbook here, so that's what I did. This was another painting. Uh, this was actually um, the preliminary sketch to... A skateboard deck painting that I did again on YouTube so it's there yeah so actually there was a pretty extensive break between this piece and this piece um, I just kind of paused several times throughout the year and a half that I've worked through this this is where I didn't do anything um, but this is just kind of keeping it doing something really simple to get back into the rhythm the routine of of drawing just so I used really simple just grays and black And then there's the Mewtwo and Entei. Entei? Did I just say Entei? Mew and Mewtwo, right. <laughs> Entei, he's over here. I was using the brush pen really heavy um, for a period. Uh, if it'll focus, come on, buddy. So there's a really thick brush marker, I mean, uh, brush pen strokes here. Whereas usually I'd like to use thinner lines. It's my, my standard, my go-to is these thinner line, but I was experimenting with this uh, this here. Icy Hot, yes, yes. Todoroki. Then you got Bardock. Yes, yes. Again, playing with that, uh, that brush pen that I've ultimately decided that I don't really like that much, but giving it a fair shot. There's actually another extensive pause between here and this dragon here. Um, yeah, I just stopped 
drawing in it. Um, honestly, it, I got to the point where I get bored with my art pretty quickly. Um, so I'll, I'll do a thing with an objective like this, this themed sketchbook was pretty challenging for me because I did get bored of doing the same thing over and over again, even though I'm doing different characters. Um, it got pretty boring, so there was a pause. And then I jumped back in and did something a little bit different here. Um, but this is actually, this half is marker, and then this half is just colored pencil because I didn't want it to bleed through. So colored pencil, marker. All right, uh, coming at the end of the sketchbook, you've got Pura from Breath of the Wild. I, again, I don't draw chibi or girl characters, so it looks a little funny, I think. A little, a little silly, but it is what it is. And then there's the opening scene from Breath of the Wild, the big Ganon, the Calamity Ganon here. So, fun stuff to draw. Again, drawing Zelda every day until the new Zelda game comes out. That's what this is. Um, so you've got the Minish Cap, right? And then the one I did yesterday. This is actually really cool. I like this drawing. Um, and then here. Oh, I should also note that these Zelda drawings, all of them were referenced out of this book, this Art and Artifacts Zelda book that I got. So it's a really neat book. Really, really cool. Very, very cool book. Love it. Okay. And the one I did yesterday was this one here. One of the original Octorok designs. It's super neat. Super cool to go back through this book and look at the different styles, different art styles, and different designs for Link. It's super neat. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is one I did today. <laughs> the King of Hyrule from The Wind Waker. Just a silly, fun little drawing here, yeah. It's a very interesting, unique style, so. And that is it. That's it. Uh, I did write Jazza a note in the sketchbook because, well, I wrote him a note because I plan to send him this notebook, this sketchbook. To tell you the story about that briefly, um, last year I was selling something on the Facebook Marketplace. I was selling a Nintendo Switch, actually. Um, and I met up with the guy, and uh, basically I got robbed. He robbed me. He uh, pulled a gun out on me and threatened my life and took my switch. So uh, what ended up happening is I told some people on Discord, and my friend Raquel from Rack Rex Art actually reached out to Jazza, which is super cool, and Jazza sent me a box, sent me his sketchbox. And so to kind of pay him back, I'm going to send this to him. I've, I've filled it up with my sketches and I'm, I'm going to send it to him. So that's going to be that. I don't know how to get in touch with him, but I'm going to figure it out, figure out a way to safely send this to him. But this is number nine, 8.5. My ninth sketchbook. I'm sorry, this is my eighth sketchbook that I've filled. Um, and I'm actually... Got a second one that I'm working on now. This is the one I've had for about the same amount of time that maybe you'll get a sketchbook tour of this one later. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Uh, I'm going to see you guys later. Thanks for watching.